Pardon? So that these uh, issues can be can be solved. Okay. Yes. Uh, do you think there, because there, 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 there is this uh, issue of the damp, uh, you know, sites, and uh, we have seen in, in like in Nairobi, guys, I mean, young people are doing this job. Maybe some some people have given the the the, the, the youth that job to collect the, 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 the you know kataka and dump them yes. somewhere, and after that. There is a place that these guys are taking the, the entire uh, takataka. So these dump sites, are they in your areas? Because we, are, we, we realize that uh, some places in, in Nairobi, they take it outside Nairobi, maybe to a different constituency. Is this thing happening in your constituency? Yeah, we have issues like this. You know, the biggest dump site in Nairobi is in the Okay. But for areas where, some areas, mm -hmm. which lie Because what is happening is that the population is growing okay. day by day. Mm. And once the population grows, mm -hmm. it means that more waste is being generated. Sure. So it's high time mm -hmm. that uh, planners came up with proper mm -hmm. sites, proper yeah. dump sites, mm -hmm. sites which are uh, uh, set aside using uh, the proper procedures, public participation, so that you don't have issues of, of the communities complaining that dump sites are actually affecting their, 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 their water, water sources affecting their animals. We had an issue the other day with um, a river in my constituency. Well, yeah, not actually uh, blockages. Uh, people are directing sewer to a river. And this is uh, affecting people downstream. Like uh, livestock. We have lost livestock. We have lost uh, goats and sheep. And, uh, and uh, we have lost even cattle due to contamination of water bodies. So this is a thorn in the flesh. It needs to be handled. And that's why we are saying that um, we need leaders who are focused, leaders who are able to work around the clock to ensure that resources are located mm -hmm. for such mm -hmm. for such solutions. Oh yeah. Ah, now this brings another uh, question here, where the government has come up with the, 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 the Kazim Tanif policy. Yeah. Does the government did, did it did the, the, the system? come up with uh, where the dump sites will be or the depending on what is there and what is happening in the, the, the dump sites, in, so to speak? Uh, I believe each and every county government has its own plan okay. Okay. for uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 okay. uh, dump In my constituency, mm -hmm. in my area, yes. there's an area set aside for this. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I said, there have been complaints from mm -hmm. the community okay. that this uh, there are a lot of effects coming from the allocated sites. Uh -huh. The effects on the on the on the water bodies, mm -hmm. on the environment. Okay. Still, I think there's a lot that the county government of Kajiado, okay. maybe even the other county governments, okay. need to do when coming up with uh, with, with dump sites mm -hmm. and, and solid waste management areas. All right. Yeah. And protection of water bodies, because sure, sure, sure. the animals mm -hmm. and uh, human beings also depend on these water bodies. Therefore, they need to be protected so that they against any type of contamination. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can join some, <laughs> but uh, talking about uh, former former ministers like Michuki, those who are so much, you know, fighting for for rivers. Yes. Maybe somebody can come up and. and save that situation because now we realize that the, the, the rivers that come to Nairobi from that side and if something is happening in between uh, the, 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 the ways then that means there's a problem uh, down to us. Now we need to, 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 to go back to your constituency and before we do that just a little uh, information to get maybe from you and from your, 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 your team what you have planned, your team is planning for this country. We have the voice of, of the church, yes. the voice of the people, and we told the voice of the people is the voice of God. And what, when they say it is you, Martin, then it is you. Yeah. 
back to, to our previous talk on church and governance. Yes. Where now the church is supposed to come up or the politicians are going to kill the church or uh, where are we? Where are we now that uh, the church is supposed to speak on itself and the government, uh, the, the leadership of our country is there also to speak for itself. We, I want us to get to the bottom of a problem that uh, the church must be respected as an institution and the government as, as, uh, to be respected as an institution. We talked about it last time and we made it clear to the people that mwanasiasa sasa anapaswa kuwa anamsikiliza kiongozi wake wa kidini kiongozi wake wa kanisa and then somebody else came and said you have not seen politicians go to a Muslim a mosque for that matter yes. uh, we only see them in our churches moving here and there coming late coming early and leaving late uh, <laughs> coming late and leaving <laughs> early you know this thing has been happening mm -hmm. how are we going to remove this kasuba from of the entire system so that the church iwe juu uongozi unakuja hapa chini so we all look up to god yes. for good leadership what is your take asante sana thanks so much this is the same issue that we discussed last time yes. and i'm still going to insist yes. that the church plays a very vital role yes. in politics national politics mm. because the church kenya being a dominantly christian nation sure. we have kenya Kenyans are church goers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, Kenyans also believe in their the clergy yes, so much. Yes, yes. The, 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 what I think is that the clergy should come out and be and play a very non-partisan role. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And also not to shy away from politics. Yes. Because politics is sometimes it could be considered to be an, uh, an unpleasant uh, occupation mm -hmm. by many because of the way people carry themselves. Yes, yes. Of, Highly insults again, mm -hmm. yeah. but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. um, national leadership should be directed by the church. Okay. okay. The church should encourage mm -hmm. and play, uh, encourage the people to yeah. carry out their constitutional role of voting okay. and participating in elections, yeah. so that people can decide mm -hmm. and choose their true leaders. Mm -hmm. Much as the we say that uh, leadership comes from up from God, yes. it comes from God to people. If you look at uh, at the American Constitution, what they say about government, yes, yes. they recognize the role that God plays. Mm. They also recognize the role that individuals as uh, well as play. Yes. So what I'm saying is, uh, churches should uh, play an unpartisan role mm -hmm. in encouraging uh, people to exercise their their, 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 their voting rights <laughs> and the duty of of participating in politics. Yes. But at the same time, they should also maintain a sober environment. So that you don't have uh, the church being used as a as a ground for for, for settling uh, uh, differences God, and yeah. people uh, because when you get to that now you are now uh, abusing yes, yes. the uh, the divinity of the church correct the clean uh, the, the purity of the church the mm -hmm. church is supposed to be a place where people go for mm -hmm. spiritual nourishment yeah. and not a place where people come out with hatred mm -hmm. so the church i insist should be at the center right. should be at the center but mm -hmm. their role should be non-partisan. Okay. Because the moment they start becoming partisan, mm -hmm. then that's when the problem arises. Mm -hmm. And divisions start emerging mm -hmm. in the church mm -hmm. and amongst the, le the leaders. Okay. The church should also be incorporated okay. in national leadership. Okay. We have, for example, in parliament, mm -hmm. we have 290 elected members. Correct. We have 47 elected uh, women representatives. Mm -hmm. We have 12 nominated uh, uh, members of parliament. Mm -hmm. Out of these nominated members of parliament, we mm -hmm. should have some people who are coming from the church, okay. a good number coming mm -hmm. from the church, and also a good number coming from other religious organizations, okay. so that the church can be well represented in the in the uh, law making process of this nation. Okay. Yeah. Ah, and there's somebody who said, uh, "Is that? Do you think it's high time maybe the church formed? Maybe I don't know whether that will bring." Somebody said. Yeah, like the last thing, that the church should come up with a political party, kind of, so that they can negotiate with the, the other political parties, so to speak, where they will air their views and the views of the entire, you know, flock in the house. 
you think it is that it's an, I mean, a good uh, 